So uh, on a Saturday night, <laughs> we'd all put our we'd put our best clothes on. Bob, Bob, we have to say hello first. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I meant to our audience. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Hello my gorgeous viewers, welcome back to Aliso Del Monte. In today's video I've got my friend Bob here and we are just going to have a brief discussion about social dancing back in the 1950s in my friend's time and social dancing these days because we both have that in common Bob. We both go social dancing or used to go social dancing so let's just get into it bob when would be the typical time to go dancing back in the day so like which day of the week mostly it was on a saturday evening and uh, be a local dance uh, all the areas had their own halls and uh, we'd put our best clothes on and if we had a push bike we'd go on our bike and, or two or three of us would get in a, an old car and mm. trundle up to the dance. And yeah. we went to the dances hoping to meet one of the opposite sex uh, so uh, we could form a, some sort of relationship. <laughs> now, it means friendship, right? <laughs> when we went into the hall, uh, the girls would be sit, sitting on one side of the hall and the boys would sit on the other and the uh, parents would be at the other end of the hall and the, the mothers would be preparing the supper. Uh, it'd be a nice supper they put on too. It'd be cream sponges and hot savouries and sandwiches and wow. cups of tea and coffee. It was well done. Yeah. Uh, as far as alcohol was concerned, there was no alcohol allowed in the hall. Mm. But some of them did have alcohol. It was hidden in their cars. But the local policeman would often turn up and take it off them anyhow. <laughs> so, yeah. But for a start, the, when the dance started, the uh, master of ceremonies would announce what dance it was going to be. Ladies and gentlemen, take your partners, please, for the next dance. It's a waltz. So you'd uh, uh, sort out the girl you wanted to dance with and, and go up to her and say, may I have the pleasure of this dance with you, please? And she'd say, yes or no. And you'd go up and have a dance with her and chat away. And if you liked her, you'd ask her for another dance. And uh, then you'd book the last dance. If you really liked her, you'd book the last dance. And of course, while you'd done that, was to ask her to go home with you. And uh, that's how uh, a lot of uh, couples got together. and uh, For life. For life. Mm -hmm. uh, married and such like. Mm -hmm. uh, that, then they had various types of dances. Uh, they, they, they'd have the Gay Gordons, for instance. That's where everybody changed partners. After one round of the hall, you changed partners with another. So you got to squeeze every girl in the hall. And, or have a chat with every girl in the hall. And then they'd have the... The uh, Maxinas, that was something like a waltz, mm. and uh, that they have sets where uh, they, they would take a bit of describing, all manner of dances, and uh, it was a, a good jovial evening, a good happy, there was no, no arguments or fights or anything like that, not like they have these days. Everybody worked in with one another. <laughs> um, so, what else would you like to know? Um, so what happens these days, I can do the opposite now, <laughs> what happens these days is, yes, we still go out social dancing on Saturday nights, but it's not as often. It's usually during the week, and sometimes that's a bit difficult for those who work during the week, and if, especially because it's far away from me, I can't make it during the week, and when we do go dance there, it's... I love the atmosphere, that's why I go, and dancing with someone else is lots of fun, but I never see things like you describe, things like lots of food, mothers and parents preparing food or supper for the event. Usually you'd see maybe tiny morsels or if you want food, take your own food. But there's water, <laughs> no alcohol, no um, other refreshments but water. Again, if you want to drink there, you take your own, but it's more casual, I think. Like, the atmosphere when you get there, it's more just about the dancing, not about socializing. Because when you go, when you try to socialize, the music is so loud anyway, the stereo is going. You can't really talk too much. And if you do go and ask someone to dance, <laughs> 
it's usually not the best to ask just take them by the hand and ask because they'll make some excuse and be like I'm too tired and they will not dance with you so what happens Bob is when I go ask someone to dance I just put my hand out and hope for the best <laughs> wow. um yeah that's what happens and let's talk about loud and um, live music when I go, there's no live music. There is loud music, and it's usually on the stereo. The stereo is going, or the DJ is choosing the music. Whereas in your time, Bob, you'd have was it was it loud? <laughs> no, not really. But it was live. It was acceptable. Live. Uh, and until the the rock and roll era come in, then yeah. it got a bit uh, more exciting. Yeah. Uh, the young ones jumping around, but it wasn't the same sort of dancing. You you didn't waltz and hold your partner or, or lead your partner. You just threw each other around the hall wildly. Wildly, it seemed to be a great thing for the young ones that they caught on. It really caught on. Mm. Older folk were a bit hesitant about it, but mm -hmm. they, we all got into it in the finish. But mm. uh, the music got a bit more. Uh, frenzied when the mm -hmm. rock and roll era came out, yes. I guess that's a big difference as well, now that if you want to rock and roll, you must go elsewhere. Whereas where I go is strictly Latino, oh, um, Latin ballroom dancing, whereas your time was more traditional classic ballroom dancing. Well, would what? you have jazz, would you have waltz, would you have cha-cha? What would you be dancing to? Well, what happened when the young fellows come back from the war, mm -hmm. they'd had all those experiences from different countries they'd been in, and they brought all those uh, different dances and things home with them. Yeah. And that's how it all came about in New Zealand. I right, guess in most right. other countries. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And now they're all spread apart in their own sections. Uh, if you want to go rock and roll dancing, you go to a different dance community. Uh, you want to classic ballroom, a different dance community. Where I go to is more Latin yes. uh, community. Not that everyone's Latin there, it's just where if you want to go Latin dancing, that's where you go. Salsa Club Dunedin, by the way. <laughs> well, yeah. Waltzing goes back many, many years. Uh, it goes, uh, it's a very old classical way of d couples dancing. Mm -hmm. And uh, would you have one dance hall in the in your town back then, or would you have several dance halls to go to? Well, in a the town there could one? be two or three dance halls. Uh, oh, so you could choose to go to. Well, in Invercargill, they'd have uh, the Catholic dances and they'd have Protestant dances and, oh. and uh, all, all the various dances, but out in the country. We only had the one hall, local hall to yeah. go to. So everybody just mixed together. Everyone mixed together. Hmm. Yeah, no, we're, we're these days you, you go to separate ones, which whichever one that you like the most, I guess. Uh, good <laughs> but, uh, but it's, it's a good idea, I think, to experience them all. Oh, definitely. I've been to rock and roll. It, it wasn't so much me, <laughs> but <laughs> it, it was good. I think I... What was I dancing to? I can't remember. I think I was just watching back. Whereas I like to be on the dance floor yes. as often as possible. Of course, of course. And Bob, let's just come back to dance halls in towns. We don't have dance halls nowadays, right? Tapanui has not got a Saturday night social dance hall. No, you have your, uh, uh, you have your community centres in Tapanui. Mm -hmm, but we don't go dancing. No, they don't have those dances now. So like me and you to... can't go to these. No. No. But the only way you get that now is if uh, an old fashioned wedding and they yeah. they have a, a dance after the wedding or something like that. If you're it, invited to the wedding. Oh yes. <laughs> well, the, the weddings those days was, uh, well, the, the farmer would like to get rid of his daughter and he'd put on a, a very a sumptuous party. wedding and uh, yeah. Uh, the district would turn up and uh, they'd just make sure they were married and went away on their honeymoon. When I was courting, uh, I turned up on the um, uh, the dance on my push bike. 
<laughs> you were well dressed, I hope. Oh, of course, you had the best clothes on. But then, of course, you'd ask the girl to go home with you and have a bit of job getting her on the bar of the bike. Yeah. One dance I particularly remember going to, um, I had a motorcycle. And another chap and I went on this motorcycle. It was a fancy dress one. And I dressed up as Wee Willy Winky. And we, Willy Wonka we from w- the Tropical Factory. No, Willy, Wee Willy Winky. He was... Oh, the, yeah. no, not that one. Uh, anyhow, we crashed the motorbike. Oh. And uh, then another time I went to a fancy dress dance in Tapa Nui, dressed as Davy Crockett. And uh, he was a wild frontiersman. You know about Davy Crockett? No. No. He, he wore <laughs> bear skins and a big hairy hat. And hairy, and his gun was called Old Betsy. Right. Anyhow, I asked the policeman's wife up for a dance. Mm-hmm. And someone said, look, he's got his Old Betsy. That was a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I do not get jokes at all. I don't even know where they start. But I do thank you for reminding me. Um, the best part of social dancing for me is getting ready in my best clothes. And I don't know, it just makes me feel confident. You know, just your best outfit. Yes. You go there and then enjoy yourself a lot more. Whereas you would go normal. We were more so cosh con- uh, clothes conscious. On those nights. Those days and now. On those and now. days. It's very casual this, that, this day and age. But those times you wore a tie and a collar and a tie. And yeah. Your best suit. Nice shiny shoes. The men don't put as much effort, I think, when we go social dancing, whereas us women do. Um, so I guess that's different as well. Back in the days, the men would... Yes. also take as much effort to dressing up but nowadays sh- shorts sometimes t-shirts um i i don't mind actually as long as they dance with me i'm on the dance floor i'm dressed up i'm happy <laughs> well you're always well dressed oh, thank you're, you. you're, you're very dress conscious when i go social dancing well whenever i've seen you you're always well dressed <laughs> oh thank you bob um I have seen you in your suit. Remember you came to my social party? My first social hosting uh, yes, dancing yes. party. Uh, you, you probably remember it. If you don't, you can see it on my channel. It's somewhere. It's, it's um, my first time hosting a dance party video. Right. All right, Bob. I, if, if you would like to say anything else, now's the time or else. Um, I think we're finished with the video. Well, I think you've done very well. Yes. <laughs> yes. I had fun talking about this. We should come back and do a part two, maybe. Perhaps we will. We did yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, my gorgeous viewers. Until you see us both next time. Bye-bye, Bye. everybody. Thank you for watching. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Your legs everywhere, arms everywhere. Yeah, this hat's going up, this hat. So we took a walk down the street and she wanted to stop the jeweler shop and look at jewelry. And, and, and Daisy rings us. <laughs>